run and attack and attack and run. If I'm, it's like, slow down, motherfucker. But you know what's weird is, I seem to be over aggressive in this game, but take me Glacius and Killer Instinct. He's the exact opposite. So I just haven't got me, me, me mindset of Smash quite right yet. I mean, you've got to be aggressive on ZSS and stuff like that. That's the entire point, but not like a mindless aggression. Ah, uh, there we go. Eclipse just said the exact same thing I just said. Aggression isn't bad, you just have to be smart about it. Exactly. That's exa That's exactly it, dude. Pro 90 OTG, exactly. That's my gun in Counter-Strike, the P90, because you can run and shoot it. So I can be aggressive with it. I like to be at the front of, like, there's like five of you on a CS team. I like to be at the front guy, the guy that dies first, but generally does, like, one and a half kills or something like that and annoys the other team in the process. Fucking P90 slag. <laughs> they hate the P90, I fucking love it, mate. <laughs> it's fucking great. But like I say, thank you very much, Eclipse. You basically summed up um, at the exact same time as what I summed up. But that was that was basically what I thought there, yeah. It seemed like the um, the aggression. Like, the Nessa played against earlier on. Was it Dr. Dial-Up? The Nessa played against. He figured that out in the last match. If you just slow your roll against OT, just chill out. You throw out some random moves, he'll react to it. You throw out a move, he'll react to it, and then go for you. And if you're not throwing out a move, he's going to go for you. Are you blocking? It's gonna go for you. Are you in there? It's definitely going for you. So just slow your roll down and play a more neutral game and just punish him. And you'll get stocks off him. And then he'll go super aggressive trying to catch up. And then you have got him. No more, motherfuckers. I wanted that shit. I, I already knew it, but I took those couple of games with Eclipse to really kind of hammer it in. Like that first game, I'm like, what the fuck happened to me? I, I just... I don't know. Ch fucking thrown out of a plane or something like that. What happened there? I don't know. So, like, let's do a run back. No, let's totally run back. Let's just do a run back and see what the uh, what the problem was there. And it was, like, immediate. It's like, is the problem what I think my problem's been for the entirety of this game so far? Ah, it is indeed. It is indeed. Yeah. Also, try not to use up B. As much, only at kill percent, both Banjo and Eclipse concurring on that. Indeed, I, I concur with that as well. It's, um, it's, I'm saying with regular Samus as well, I love the upbees. Samus is much easier to hit with than Zero Suit is though. But I do like the upbeat, and yeah. Yeah, even Jaff's saying there, yeah, OTG's upbeat has ruined him a lot. I, I, I'm, I'm too aggressive with you, I, I want to hit you with an upbeat, even if it's not going to kill you. Oh, I'm not going to hit with you, I'm still going to do it. I don't know what it is about the upbees. I just, I like the upbees. But... Like I say, cheers for letting me know, dudes, and cheers for the practice and stuff like that. It's like I was saying earlier on about, was it an hour ago? If there's any ever, like, glaring fundamental problem in my game, tell me. If there's ever, like, you got that wrong in your commentary, OTG, it's not that, it's this. Tell me. Because I'm still learning this game and absorbing it like a motherfucker. Love the absolute shit out of it. Can't play enough, can't learn enough. So do let me know. Do let me know. Oh, that's a nice little combo there, Byron. Up B would be fine, but he relies on it far too much. After stun, so either with the um, stun gun, like, you know, neutral B, or with the down smash, I guess, into up smash, into an up B would be a better way of doing it. Maybe even, like, do a double jump up, fucking hit him with um, an up air, and then go into the up B as well, if you could manage it. Hmm. Down throw to up B work. Of course down throw to up B works. Shit. Cheers, dudes. Nice. We're learning. We're learning here. Anyone else that bitch and complain about giving tips? <laughs> no way, man. Not, not with me. Not with me. I am very conscious of my level of play. And I can't play against enough good people that beat the shit out of me. I don't get solid. Like, I mean, I lost games against folk tonight and stuff like that. You don't see me getting solid about it. You see me learning from it. You see me saying, well played, so, you know, you outplayed me. Good game. I hope to play more against you and, like, learn your character and learn how you play and stuff and develop my own game. I don't get salty in, in competitive games. I really don't. I see it as, like, I need to get better. And the more good people I can play and the more information I can absorb from either these good players telling me or from figuring it out or from reading forums and Reddit and etc., the better, the faster I can learn it all. Simple as that. There's only FPS games that I'm natural at. Everything else needs work on my part, so, no. 
Like I said, I am always receptive to shit. Good shit, that was a really fun six hours almost. No way, man. No way. I think we started the second tournament at about the two and a half hour mark. No way, that's gone fast as that. Very fast. But like I say, lads, thank you very much for playing there. We did not struggle to get people into Smash. Somebody wanted a song for there. I'm just going to do a little, um, not long, like, just, um, somebody wanted a song earlier on. What was it now? Is it a Gower play? No, it was a Xenoblade medley, I think it was. Let's have that on in the background while I just sign off. What, the Xenoblade medley? Fucking hell, even I don't know that. <laughs> have you got the Xenoblade memory, 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 memory. Uh, um, maybe? Maybe at some part. Xenoblade Chronicles. It's got to be on Gower playing on it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's the only one I've got enabled. Oh, no, I've got loads of enabled. Fucking hell. Shush. Shush, I should not scroll down. Even I turned my music up a little bit, though. I think the music level needs increasing. I need to change my volume settings and make it so you can hear... I know people like to hear the game a lot as well, but I like to hear the music in this game. I need to turn the music up for next stream, do some practice stuff like Let me know if it goes too high. But like I was saying, dudes, we didn't struggle to get people into the Smash tournaments tonight. Cheers for, like, coming along and playing. We had some great games. Nobody broke the rules. I, I thought nobody would. Not from not from the um, the core community and stuff like that. I, I knew nobody would break the rules and stuff like that. Nobody even remotely did. Not even close. Cheers for that, lads. Made it very easy on my part. Everybody got into the games promptly. Everybody played by the rules. Had some fun. Good shit. Can't ask for more than that. Very informative, not only, like, I learned a lot of Smash tonight, I really fucking did. I've been playing mainly single player for the last couple of weeks. Doing chal- oh, yeah, yeah, doing challenges. I can go to another screen, it doesn't end the- don't end the song. I didn't break your computer at all. Oh. Ah, there we go. If I say I want my tune back, please. But I, um... I've just been single playing the shit out of this man. I love the single player in this game. I like all I like Smash Tour, I like regular Smash, I like the fucking trophy rush, all the solo fucking shit. The special orders are amazingly fun. Events fun, all star stadium, it's alright. And the fact that you can play with two people on the same console, even online with some of the modes and shit, fantastic. Me and Claire did have some fun, but where was I going to now? Yeah, I did that. And then I was gonna. No, 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 like I say, I'm just trying to like. I was going to something. Oh! Yes, I remember now. I remember. But the thing that I love most with the single player um, stuff that I do. This is what I do day to day, me, when I'm playing Smash. I should be playing 1v1, so I'm not getting scored quite so much. But this is what I do. 89 out of 140 challenges I've done. I fucking love these, man. The one that I'm working on at the moment is. Um, clear Classic with intensity set to 9.0 without losing a single life. That inc that's like without losing a single stock. You know, if you die and stuff like that. Because I was like, well, if you die on 9.0, it's going to go down to 8.5 anyway. So what's the point of telling you that? You can't complete it without, you know, if you die once, you can't complete it anyway. What it means is you can't lose a fucking stock. That's hard. Oh, so you try to do pivot grab rather than regular. Uh, yep. Yep. The pivots change the, um, the properties of certain moves, make the range longer or do more damage and stuff like that. There's also, um, ah. Oh. There's a technique that's been discovered recently-ish that allows you b to kind of like pivot tilts while dashing. You do like a, it's like a dash pivot tilt kind of thing. You can do all kinds of shit out of it. You could do a grab or anything else, but it, it just allows you to, um, to do tilts and stuff like that out of a, um, a dash kind of pivot. I can't remember. I can't remember the exact name of it. What is it now? What is it now? I'm gonna find it. But yeah, I'm working on uh, that one, the 9.0 clearing, which is fucking hard. Oh, oh, we've got high CPU usage going on. My apologies. I'm just looking at something ever so briefly. Um. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot what I'm looking at now. Oh, the technique I was thinking of. I was trying to think of the technique I was thinking of. Maybe it's in my bookmarks.
What was it called? Nah, no, there's a really awesome technique. Um, perfect pivot. That's the one. That's what they're calling it. Perfect pivot. I'll paste the link in chat for anybody that's interested, but perfect pivoting. That's going to be an AT. Advanced technique for anybody that... Sorry, I'm using smash jargon and shit like that. It's going to be a technique that a lot of people are going to fucking perfect and get d down really well. It's devast... I've seen people using it at top level. It's devastating. But yeah, we seem to have... Um, Obs has hit the limit now. Obs has hit the limit and is um, having massively high CPU encoding. But for anybody that wants to know how to get get the Vampire Brom badge by um, getting eight or more KOs in Cruel Smash, I can't show you it because of the CPU usage being so high. Damn it. Maybe I've closed Chrome. Will that give me a bit of slack? I can't close anything else. It's not my PC as such. It's Obs starts to struggle. Oh, here we go. Banjo in Eclipse. Banjo's saying here, trying to perfect, it looks like the next wave dash. That's what I'm hearing. And uh, Eclipse is saying the same. Yeah, I'm working on perfect pivoting now. I, I was wanting to practice it recently, but I've been doing the fucking challenges and just basic training and stuff like that at the moment. But I, I want to learn perfect pivoting as well. But sorry about the stream there, lads. It's, um, <laughs> raged from OBS. Sorry about that. Yeah, the audio's fine. For some reason, it oh, here we go. We're back again. Oh, we're back. Oh, no, never mind. No, nope, never mind. It was only briefly. But yeah, perfect pivoting looks um, like it's going to be a sweet technique. If you're interested in going to advanced level smash, the link I pasted in stream chat will be a pretty good way about going about it. Obviously, you need to learn fundamentals and everything else as well, but keep that in mind. That's what I'm doing. I'm keeping that in mind. That's not an end goal, but, you know, an end of the game kind of um, goal. good shit. But like I say, if you want to know how to do that with Lucina, what you do is you run off stage, curl around. I can't show you it properly because of the fucking streamline. But you jump off stage and you do an up B so that you're proper like deep into the stage and you just keep catching them like that and eventually you knock them out. Or They tend to self-destruct really easily. When you do that, the AI gets confused and that's how, um, that's how I did that one. But the other one I'm working on it's around here somewhere. Yeah, the one... 9.0 with customizations off as well. No. Where is it? It's around somewhere. I'll find it. Where the fuck are you? No, it's a really high one. It's not a low one. Have I not actually unlocked it? No, I have. It's... Where the fuck is it? I'm sorry, dude. It's one sec. I'll find it. Ah, yeah, here we go. I found it. I told you I found it. This is the one that I'm working on at the moment. Claire's been financing me by, like, spectating and betting and stuff like that. I have got to, um, 20 turns. I have got to Crazy Order with a decent amount of hit point. Uh, sorry, um, Crazy Hand with a decent amount of... Well, it's actually Crazy Hand and Master Hand if you do it after 20 turns. But I basically got to the boss on that and just not had enough damage to fucking kill him. And then I got him down to about 50 hit points or something like that and then died. I've got there a few times and got the boss down to like sub 100 hit points and then died. It's fucking tragedy. No, not yet. I keep getting there and I've had a, I've had a couple of days break from it now. But I, I get complete crazy odds of at least 20 turns with Mario. However, there is a trick. There is a trick to it using the home run bat from the 3DS version. What you can do is you can, get, you can make a character on the free... Unlike the Wii U version, you can't deliberately unlock the home run bat on the Wii U version. You have to just get it as a random drop, just random luck. But on the 3DS version, you can do a challenge to get the home run bat. You can do a challenge to get the equipment that speeds up the home run bat, so it's much faster. And then you can also get another piece of equipment that's like a KO healing. So every time you knock somebody out, you heal. It's not as good as the Vampire Braum badge, but you can't edit char the characters that you transfer from the 3DS to the Wii U, you can't edit. So I basically made a Batman, Mario, and he's, like I say, he's got, he starts with a home run bat, with um, a faster swing on the home run bat, and every time he knocks somebody out, he heals. And that's... Oh, Dash Dancing, I need to learn that as well. Cheers, Eclipse. I've been wondering what the name of that was, Dash Dancing. 
But that's how you get to 20 plus turns with uh, Mario in Crazy Orders, or any character. Basically, you just need a home run bat, and ideally it needs to be sped up, and then you need the uh, vampires, some kind of lifesteal, whether it's on knockout or on hit. I'm much savvier about the single player than what I am about the multiplayer at the moment. <laughs> much savvier. But I enjoy this. The challenges are good fun. They actually feel like challenges, they're not like achievements, like, turn on the game, thumbs up, good job, there you got an achievement. No, it's seriously fucking difficult shit. Get a perfect on every stage of target blast. Seven, well, seven hundred trophies doesn't really require much, but... You know, fill the fever gauge eight times in a single run, what the fuck? Even that one was hard. Clear classic with intensity set to now, like losing a single life. I mean, some of them are alright, you're gonna get them eventually, like that one you're gonna get eventually, but some of them are just fiendish, like that one's fiendish. Clear true all-star mode within six minutes with Jigglypuff, what? <laughs> That's gonna take some practice. But I enjoy the challenges, they're good fun. I, like, my, I mean, it's obviously person dependent. Some people look at that and go, no. That's just boring to me, is that? Entirely fair enough, but for some reason, I really enjoy that. I don't know why, but I really do. Very fun. I should think I should have left it on the old screen, since I've got CPU problems. Well, it's, I haven't got CPU problems, I've got OBS problems. That's the, um, that's the problem. But like I say, fantastic single player game if you want it to be. And it's as deep as a multiplayer game as you want to make it. Can't ask for more than that. Solid as fuck. Solid as fuck. Great game. So lads, I think I've um, covered everything there at the end, I believe. Yeah, the challenges and stuff I'm going to talk about at the end there. Just what I've been basically doing. Well, it's like, considering the amount of time you put into Smash OTG, where's, you know, you're doing alright maybe, but you know, like, where's the rest of it? I've been playing single player. I've been having fun with that, I'm sorry. Fun's fun to me. Um, what exactly is happening when OBS gets CPU challenged? I I'm not sure exactly. It gets to about four hours and then it starts to have CPU problems. But if I use an older version of OBS, it's fine. 100 I can stream for 12 hours on an older version of OBS. But once OBS gets to a specific version number onwards, it does this where above four hours, I have CP high encoded in CPU usage. I think it's something to do with the recording shit and stuff like that. I don't know, it's struggling. Are you going, Mr. Green, yeah? Like I say, see you later, dude. Cheers for the tip and stuff. Very kind of you, Mr. Green, yeah. See you later, dude. Have a good Christmas. If you don't see I'll see you before that. I'll see you before that. I'm feeling fine recently. We're going to see... We, we shall meet again. We shall meet again. Good night, dude. And like I said, I shall um, take my leave as well, I think. I should take my leave as well. As I say, dudes, cheers for all the torment stuff. It was run really, really easy. It was. It was fun and easy. Can't ask for any more than that. Absolutely zero problems and some fantastic games. Very fun. And the tips. Staggering, fellas. Absolutely staggering. Thank you so much. I mean, was the talking at the beginning of the stream, like, um... Was somebody saying, like, oh, you know, about the bills or something like that, and it's like I say, it's been fucking life-changing. I wouldn't have been able to eat as, like, like I, said, I was saying earlier on about my health and shit like that, and I need to eat, like, more than what I had been doing. I wouldn't have been able to do that in years gone past. So, even just simple shit like, you know, heating and stuff. I ain't, I ain't telling no sob story, I'm just saying how it is, you know, shit's expensive nowadays, and I fucking, all I'm saying is I appreciate what you do for me. Do for us, me and Claire and the cats and stuff. I appreciate it. That's what I'm driving at. Very, very kind of y'all. Very, very appreciate. Thank you so much, dudes. I say Merry Christmas and have a good new year. Like, we ain't gonna see each other again. We are. We are, definitely. So, I shall see you soon, dudes. Definitely. It's actually quite nice to say Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. I don't care how many times I say it in a stream. I don't care if, we, like, next stream I'm saying Merry Christmas to folk again and stuff like that. Why not? Why not? It's good shit. Oh yes as well, thank you very much for Evil Within as well. Um, is it MJK or like magic or something like that? I'm not sure. Sorry about it, dude. I think you've told me before. And I might have missed it in stream chat. But like I was saying, like I was driving out dudes, thank you so much. Like this past year has been life changing. If it, hadn't been, it would have been the best year of my life if it hadn't been for the fucking illness. The, the health shit this year, oh, it's been horrid. Genuinely makes me fucking happy to feel well again. Oh, MJK. Ah. 
M space J space K cool. I thought I thought it might have been, but I did like I said, I like to pronounce people's names right. You know, when I see people around all the time, at least I can do is learn your fucking name right. That's, yeah, at least I can do. I see. But yes, thank you very much for Evil Wind, dude. I look forward to playing that at some point. I would certainly suspect if I don't play it by next Halloween, that's gotta be next Halloween game. Like I say, this is this is what I mean, lads. This is what I mean. I was feeling so rough this year. I cancelled me on fucking Halloween. I mean Halloween's not as big in Europe as what it is in America and stuff like that, but still, I could have quite easily done a Halloween themed HSF and stuff like that, that's no worries. But my head's been fucking right through, yeah, it's fine now, it's fine now, but still. Shows you. I mean, I, I would consider myself to have pretty decent mental fortitude, but, you know, come on, man, after a year, after a year, I think it can work down anybody. Especially when you're not used to it. I mean, if it gets after a year and it carries on going, I mean, that's shit like, but you know, it's like, well, this is how it's going to be. But I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And what was really fucking made it was, I was fine one week. It's like, okay, let's get back streaming. All right, dude, how's it going? It's nice to be streaming again. Blah, blah, blah. And then I'm ill as a fucking dog next fucking day for another two weeks or a month. It's like, fuck. So I just keep showing up and then disappearing for a few weeks and showing up and disappearing. And I'm feeling bad and that's making me feel worse than, you know. But this is what I'm saying, like, my head's been rushed a few times this year and stuff like that, and, um, much better now. Absolutely fine. Great stuff. So fucking happy to be back streaming and feeling well again. And I felt good for a couple of weeks almost now, so I'm hoping this is it. Like, as long as I carry on with what I'm doing, I'm hoping this is it now. Great stuff. And as I was saying, it's been life-changing. The, um, the tips and subs from folk over the past year, the support that folk give, and, you know, what, everything that people do for us. Staggering. And appreciation beyond appreciation, in my opinion. Thank you. <laughs> Would not suffice, unfortunately, but thank you anyway, fellas. Thank you so much. And I shall take my leave. I'm going to get some... What am I going to get? Burgers. Burgers, beans, and mash. What a child. No, it's nice. Fuck off. Insulting myself. It's nice as burgers, beans, and mash. I've got one of those George Foreman grills, so slap like three burgers on there, man. Three burgers, you know, as soon as those burgers are almost ready, you slap some beans in the microwave, you get the kettle boiling for some smash. Ah, oh, it's good shit, man. Good shit. That's exactly- oh, that's exactly what I'm having. That's exactly what I'm having. Good stuff. So, fellas, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. As I was saying, cheers so much for the tips and subs, dudes. You're cool as fuck. And I shall catch you next time. See you, dudes.